and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be creating a full face of makeup using only Charlotte Tilbury makeup. I'm so happy to announce that Charlotte Tilbury makeup is now available on Nykaa. All right, so I'm gonna create a beautiful, gorgeous bridal look for you. So for that, I'm gonna prep my skin first. I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream and I'm gonna put that all over my skin generously. Now, if you're the bride and you're doing your own makeup, this video is gonna help you a lot because I'm gonna give you so many tips on how you can make your makeup look like skin. So this cream in particular is so beautiful, you guys. The minute I put it, um, it literally felt so hydrating. And for a dry skin type like me, I think this is very important, especially when it's an important day, you wanna make sure your skin looks like skin and it's not cakey. Make sure you are massaging your neck and you're also going upwards on your face and just like taking the time for self-care and massaging your face. I was so impressed by how plump my skin was looking. It was unreal. You can see it. For foundation, I'm taking the Airbrush Flawless Finish Foundation in shade number 7 Neutral. And this foundation is very lightweight and the consistency is very thin. Um, but the coverage is very high. So you can build it from medium to high depending on how you like to wear your foundation on a daily basis. But oh my god, when I tell you how gorgeous this foundation looked on my skin, you will see in a few seconds. Um, I'm using a damp beauty sponge simply because I love the application of it. Uh, it's a very flawless, smooth finish. And you want to make sure you're taking the foundation down to your neck. And take your time to blend the foundation in. This foundation was melting into my skin, you guys. I think it's because of the magic cream as well. The combination of the two was just stellar. My skin is not only looking glowy, but it's also looking hydrated. Oh my, I was blown away, you guys. I was like showing off my skin because I absolutely was blown by how my skin is looking and I don't use filters in my videos. This is my skin as is and it is gorgeous. Um, I took my favorite concealer and I'm just applying a very little bit to conceal my dark circles. I don't have the Charlotte Tilbury concealer, so I'm using my own. But whatever you do, you want to make sure you're using little by little and building it up. Then I'm taking the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and this is in the number fair and I'm putting this on top of my loose powder that I already used to set my concealer. So for all of you who don't like baking, I think this compact powder will just change the game for you because it does have coverage as well and it's very like finely milled so it's not heavy or cakey, it's hydrating, it's got all good stuff that you would need in a compact powder. So make sure you're setting your T-zone. Then I'm going in with the Hollywood Flawless Filter, shade number three in light medium. This is so beautiful. I'm putting it at the back of my hand and picking it up with the beauty sponge and applying it on the high points of my face. So wherever you want to glow is where you want to put this. Can you see that? Oh my God. Like this is literally what a bridal glow should look like. Um, I think this makeup taught me so much because you know usually we apply a lot of powder etc but i don't think you need a powder highlighter for this because this just looks so skin like and it's not glittery it's not chunky it is just the perfect like it melts into the foundation and you can see how happy i am with the base product and i'm just blown away smiling away showing off my base because i feel like this changed everything I'm taking a little bit of powder and I'm just going to mattify the areas where I don't want shine. So that is basically my T-zone. So I'm taking this on my forehead and also the sides of your nose, your chin, wherever you need it to be matte. 
I'm also applying this towards my cheek because I know I'm going to use a powder product to contour. So lightly just brush the powder there. Then I'm going to take the eyes to mesmerize in amber gold and I'm taking my blending brush and I'm just going to swirl it and apply it onto my eyes. It's that simple. It was such an easy application. <laughs> I didn't have to work hard at it at all. It was not patchy, it was not runny, it was not skipping. It was just a flawless application and honestly, you can just wear this, you know, it's so beautiful by itself. Just like that. And then I'm picking the luxury palette in Bella Sophia and I'm taking that brownish orange shade and I'm putting that towards the outer corner. This is me trying to create some sort of smokiness and depth. And you always wanna put the darker colors towards the outer corner of the eye. Doing the same thing on the other side and make sure you take your time blending it out. These shadows were really easy to blend and so um, it didn't take that much effort. I'm picking up the brown shade from the same palette and I'm just going to apply it again towards the outer corner. I'm just deepening this as we go and layering on the eyeshadows little by little. I'm picking up the eyes to mesmerize and I'm putting that on my lower lash line. Now this is beautiful because it gives you like a very soft appearance, a very soft smokiness and I'm joining it towards the upper eyeshadow as well. And then I'm taking the same orange shade and going over it once again. I'm taking the brown glitter eyeshadow and I'm putting that on top of my lid. It is such a beautiful burst of glitter. Like you can instantly see how it livened up the eyeshadow comparing the two. Um, so yeah, I think the cream base really helped with the pop. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use a rock and coal in bedroom black and I'm gonna make a very light line on top of my lid. Um, if you want a wing liner, you can go ahead and do that, but I'm just drawing a very subtle line on top and then using the same pencil as the kajal and putting that in my waterline. Then I'm taking a brush and I'm smudging it out to just give that smoky appearance. Then I'm going back in with the coal, lining in a little more and blending it out further. So make sure you're working in bits and pieces to achieve the final look. I'm taking that brown eyeshadow and I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line a little bit more to tie in the look together. And then I'm taking the Legendary Lashes Volume 2 in black vinyl and I'm just going to uh, put that on my lashes. Now this look needs some falsies, so ta-da, we have falsies on. Now um, for contour, you want to take your favorite contour shade and you want to start warming up your face. Okay, so uh, take a medium-sized brush and you want to start at the top of your ear and go down, also go towards your jawline. Everybody likes a different contour. I highly recommend you layering the product slowly and going upwards towards your ears and not like a straight line because this will um, give you an illusion of a lifted face. You also want to contour your nose. Make sure the lines are closest to each other. Then take a blending brush and just join the contour to your eyeshadow so it looks very cohesive and blended. For blush, I'm taking the cheek to chic blush in love rush and you want to swish and pop and apply that on your cheek so make sure you're starting towards the outer corner and then bringing it towards your cheek i'm going to apply a little bit of blush on my nose as well because i love how that looks for lipstick i'm going to take the matte revolution in pillow talk medium and this lipstick is very hydrating so it's perfect for brides you're not going to feel chapped or dry um, it's beautiful and it's a lovely mauve color don't forget your body. I'm taking the Hollywood Flawless Filter once again and I'm putting that all over my body. Um, you don't want your body to be dry, so make sure you're putting on some sort of glow there. And for this video, the Hollywood Filter just looks so beautiful. All right, guys, so that's it. That's all I have for you. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Um, and always remember to keep it light and make sure that your skin work is beautiful like this skin work i'm so proud of and it's because of the products 100 percent so um the links to all of this will be in the bottom bar down below so don't forget to check them out i love you so much and i will see you in my next video Bye.